What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. We're gonna be doing a reaction video to Miss Chrissy, motherfucking Danielle, man. She's talking about getting her tattoos covered. All right, is she gonna get her tattoo covered or not? A lot of you guys wanted my reaction to this video, of course. It's currently 12.30 at night, and I'm dropping these, well, I'm recording some videos to drop tomorrow so i can keep the ball rolling for y'all make sure you subscribe to my second channel as well i'll be uploading on there but anyway guys like comment subscribe hit that bell so you can be notified every time i post another lit ass video make sure that you dm me at the diamond life 888 let me know what i should be reacting to next make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend today ain't your mom today uncle joe he's still a hoe let's get right into this video man let's get it y'all can't see my bottom half i'm unbuckling my pants oh uh, no my bangs sticking <laughs> a little bit okay Starting for shit. It's sticking out a little bit, but that's okay. Got dressed today. Anywho, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you do not know me, I'm Chrissy Dale. What's up, y'all? Make sure you leave a comment below down below so that I know that you can do to my little, my little butterfly gang over here. I don't fucking She butterfly gang? Okay. I know that. <laughs> Know that. Into the motherfucking video. I will pass away. A lot of people don't know. I mean, like, if Damn. you don't follow me, it's That's cool. tough. Like, I'm not tripping. I understand. I know it's gotta be hard to lose a dog. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you ever lost a dog before? You never know what's gonna happen. Just like a human being, a dog, an animal, any type of animal you have, you could lose them. Yeah, man. Cherish your pets for sure. Dog, been seeing her for plenty of years. I do understand, but it was just hard for me to talk about it. Every single time I talked about Arlo dying, people would ask why, and I just did not. I didn't want to talk about it, but I'm, I'm been doing much better now so i can talk about it i'm gonna answer that first but first i'm doing the q a i don't remember the last time i've done a q a it's been so long I'm i haven't either it's been a it's long time, time since i did a q a it's so long, long time. most youtubers like when they don't have video ideas they just do a q a well that's what i used to do when i always have video ideas i just don't post if i don't have an idea but i do have ideas but i thought this would be good because i'm answering a lot of questions that i usually don't answer or try to avoid and i feel like at this point it's just stupid to avoid these fucking questions mm. She's gonna beat somebody ass, bro. We're just gonna hop right into the video. <laughs> I have a little form and I put it on my community tab. Uh, and I think I put it on my Instagram story. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But I did get a lot of questions, so I did write down some. And some are some that I don't really care to answer. I feel like I need to, but I'm gonna anyway. But the first question is, and this is not from nobody, this is from all social media. How did Arlo die? So she passed away because she had a uterus infection. Oh, and mm. I'll give a little rant real quick, too, because I was so pissed with somebody. Did. This is honestly the reason I did it on social media. She's gonna sound so crazy. Hmm? I get you deleted your reaction, social media? But this was just like, it's recent, so like, it was throwing me off. But she died because she had a uterus infection and it was not treated properly fast enough because obviously dogs can't talk and they can't tell you, hey, I'm right. so on, mommy. Right. Doctor. And I literally had, so My she shit died hurt. on May 29th and I had an appointment for her on the 3rd to get all that checked out. Just to get her checked up. It's been a year, so I just wanted to get her checked up and she just couldn't wait till the fucking 3rd. I joke about it now, but that's how I cope with my trauma. She died in my house. She Five minutes after Damn, the man. Yeah, someone was in my comments one day. That's oh, tough. I did like a Happy National Dog Day post or something, and someone was in my comments talking about how I killed Arlo, basically, like because I'm an influencer. Now you know damn well you can't listen to these motherfuckers out here, man. You cannot listen to these trolls out here. All right, they're trying to get to you, point blank, period. You know, why would you kill your damn dog? Makes no sense. And all this shit. <laughs> Shots should have been up today. Her Makes no sense. Should have been up today. Not a shit. And like it blew me one because I I don't tell y'all anything about Arlo. I don't update on what I'm doing with Arlo. I don't say oh going to get my dog shots. Like I don't do right stuff like right. This. Nobody knew Why would you? what I was doing with her. Why would you? Besides what I posted. It doesn't make any sense. Everything in life. It's not even just my dog. That's literally everything like sometimes i just choose not to share shit and Facts. that's not something that i feel like i'm obligated to share to you guys so her shots were up to date obviously right. i just said that she had a appointment on the third of june and she died may 29th like, there was nothing much else i could do and i used to blame myself for not getting her spade i didn't get her spade because she wasn't spayed when i first got her neutered whatever it is i wanted her to have babies but then i was so back and forth on her having babies but then i found out that the longer that you wait to get them spayed it really fucks up their health and i kind of learned that in the last like probably like six months before she died so i was like okay mm. let's make up a decision like am i gonna let i didn't know that because i did not know that them and asked them how much and they asked they said they're gonna pull up a chart and give me like an estimate i had all my shit together i don't like how people love to act like fucking vets and doctors on the internet mm. like it's you know how they it's go though it pissed me off and that's what made me really believe my social media because i was like these bitches really be feeling i, was I did not know that she deleted her social media that's crazy wow 
And I would not. If I can find a screenshot, I'll put it on the screen. Because my comment, someone was bullying me and I my comment got deleted. I just turned off the comments and then deleted my Instagram. I was so fucking pissed. But mm. yeah, she passed away from a uterus infection because it was not treated properly right away. Mm. Because like I said, she didn't tell me though. All right, so I have my list. Journal me. <laughs> she didn't tell me. List. When I'm doing a sit down video, I have a list. Anyway. Right. I just feel like it makes the video go way smoother and it's easier to edit versus like- You organize, okay. So, so the first question is from Lo, and they said, "How have you been doing?" Um, I've been doing better. My anxiety has been so bad. I really did not explain thoroughly. Mine too, with all this moving shit. And just my mental Sheesh. state at that time. So I'm gonna try to give a quick rundown, and I'm gonna try to make this video short, y'all. But I talk a lot. Before I got on social media, mm. I was having really bad anxiety. Sound like People me. were just talking shit, per usual, and I was going through stuff personally. It was just right. shit that I was just going through, just mentally. Like I don't know. I really don't know what was wrong with me. It's I life, man. People would ask me. And I'd be like, it's oh. life. I've never really had anxiety before until a couple years ago and i've been with people that had shit anxiety. i've always had anxiety yo anxiety. my mom has really bad always anxiety, so i've seen it but i've never had it until a couple years ago a couple years ago it was real my like only in like stressful situations i have anxiety but like now in the last couple like well like in the last month it's just been randomly throughout the day out of nowhere for no fucking reason i don't know why and it was like mm. fucking me up because that I shit builds up and it could be in your subconscious it could be in your subconscious mind to where you stuff all this trauma down or maybe the traumatic experiences were pushed to the back of your mind because they were that traumatic and you couldn't really deal with them emotionally or anything like that. So it's kind of like having an overstuffed closet. At some point you're gonna explode, you know? It's kind of like a can that gets shaken up too much. You try to open that bitch, what does it do? It explodes, okay? It spontaneously combusts because it's just too much shit stuffed down. That's why for me, meditation really, really works. Yoga works, working out works, you know? So everybody is different, but I know for me, letting go with meditation and stuff like that really, really helps. Mindfulness helps, guided meditations help. So you just gotta find what works for you and find a healthy habit to kind of unpack some of that baggage that you carry with you, you know, throughout time. All of us are carrying no, something. I didn't want to you know? do shit because I was scared that if I did something, I would get anxiety. I'd be on the game, get anxiety. I'd be working, get anxiety. I'd be doing mm -hmm. my nail, get anxiety. Painting, like literally everything. I, was I just, feel like, you. I'm getting anxiety, and then it made me not want to do nothing. It just made me want to lay down and just like try to let it pass. But the last couple of days, I've been. It right. ain't going I nowhere. Do, I was just sleep deprived. You got to deal with it. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I'm, I'm fucking tired right now because I didn't get good sleep. I wasn't really sleeping good for like a couple of days. Oh, well, mm, it's probably like a week. I wasn't sleeping good. Like I was going to bed at three, waking up at nine. And, like, was it sleeping throughout? the day constantly moving like not resting my body so one night a couple nights ago i went to sleep early and i woke up late so like i got a lot of sleep and i felt amazing that was the first day in like two weeks that i did not have anxiety at all that day and it was great i've already had anxiety today but it's okay because mm -hmm. it's not as bad as it was <laughs> Yeah, but I'm doing better. I'm doing better. I don't know if me taking this half-ass, lame-ass social media break is really working. At the end of the Probably day, it's my job, so like, it's like... It's like, hard. I feel so you. The only fans is cool, but like, you know, you. people come and go, it's so unpredictable. I say that all the time, but like, I can't not be on YouTube. Like, the only thing I'm really not on is Instagram and Twitter. I mean, I'm on Snapchat, but I don't post on Snapchat. I don't be posting on Instagram, I'm not on anything. I don't like, be posting on IG. <laughs> I don't even promote my videos, so if you see them... Me either. Thanks. I'm right. doing that. That's what I'm gonna say. So this person did not want to be named. They said this person said, "Is your gaming YouTube channel still active? Or are you done with that?" So I wanted to Sims. Uh, get on there my Sim. But then my girl started, loves the Sims. Oh my and God. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just stop telling people. And when it comes, it comes. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. My girl likes Sims so much that she pays for the shit, bro. <laughs> she will buy the motherfucker. Ain't no way in motherfucking hell. All right, I'm about to buy a fake ass closet, bro. <laughs> There's no way in hell. Twitch, I don't be on Twitch, but like I be more on Twitch than my gaming channel. But I'm not gonna like get rid of it. Or People really be on Twitch, man. I do like gaming. I literally game every day. So like, yeah, that's it's still there, it's still very much there. Did y'all know I did my makeup? I'm trying to get cute. I was tired to tell. Sin said, do you plan on moving back to Arizona? Um, I don't know. I just told my girlfriend the other day, like, Arizona's not really, like, the vibe ain't there no more. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, Arizona's a good place. I love Arizona, but, like, when I go there now, I'm not, like, I'm home. When I first moved back, I was like, that's my home. I mean, this is, like, home. This is, like, my technical She didn't got comfy, no. Home. But, like, now it's not feeling like home. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. I wouldn't, like, refuse to go back, but, like, would I stay there forever? I don't know. I was thinking about, like, trying to find another place I've never been to. Also, ask any plans on covering your arm tattoo? 
No, I don't know why people ask me that. I'm very much confused. I mean, actually, I don't understand why. It's kind of a part of you, though. I don't. A chapter. Like, what reason do I have to cover it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you believe in covering tattoos, old chapters in your lives? Maybe something that, you know, Chrissy is getting ass here with covering up, you know, Dominique on her arm. What do you guys think about that? I feel like, you know, I understand if you don't want to get a tattoo covered because in a way it's a part of you. It's a piece of you. It's a part of your story, right? I could understand why somebody wouldn't want to get that tattoo removed or get that tattoo covered up. But y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. I don't really think there's a reason. Yeah, no, I can't think of a reason to cover it up. So, it's not getting covered up, no. So stop fucking asking me that. Not you, not you, Sin. But like, people that are just ignorant with it. Like, no, I'm not covering it. I'm tattooed. Brittany asked, would you ever get Damn. a dog? Yes, I'm actually going to start looking because I feel like Argo being gone has a lot to do with my anxiety. So mm. I need a uh, distraction. Shout out to Chrissy Danielle, man. I'm glad that she's doing well. Praying for, you know, better days with your anxiety and all of that. And prayers for Arlo as well, man. I know that that was a dog that she really cherished. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at the Diamond Life 888. Let me know what I should be reacting to next. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to today. Ain't your mom today, Uncle Joe? He's still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby.